Fifty Houthi fighters wounded in the war in Yemen are being evacuated from the capital Sana'a. A United Nations plane with three doctors on board is taking them to a hospital in Muscat and Oman. Yemen is the responsibility of each and every one of its noble citizens. Just as we sacrifice our souls, our blood, and our children, you too must do so. Iran-backed Houthis took the capital Sana'a during a major uprising in 2014, forcing President Abd Rabu Mansur Hadi into exile. More than 10,000 people have been killed since the Saudi UAE coalition began its air campaign in support of Hadi's internationally recognized government the following year. The intervention and aerial bombardment of Houthi rebels has led to what the UN calls the world's largest humanitarian crisis. The World Health Organization says Yemen is experiencing the worst cholera outbreak with nearly 3,000 deaths and more than a million people infected. More than 3 million people have been internally displaced and 22 million people are in need of humanitarian help. Now, four years on, the decision by Saudi UAE coalition to allow the evacuation of wounded Houthi fighters is meeting a key condition of the rebels for UN-sponsored peace talks to go ahead in Sweden this week. A previous attempt at negotiations organized by UN Special Envoy to Yemen collapsed in September when the Houthis failed to attend. The murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi in Riyadh's consulate in Istanbul may have given Western powers more influence and leverage over Saudi Arabia. And Iran has announced it backs the talks, saying Tehran is ready to help find a political solution. We should always have cautious optimism because I think that the first results that we would, we would have to look at is whether or not these uh, peace talks uh, take place. We will expect some sort of resolution between the Houthis and the United Nations and the Saudis over whether the UN will take over the management of the port of Hudaydah. UN's envoy Martin Griffiths is hoping to arrange for a ceasefire in the port city of Hodeidah, the entry point for most aid to Yemen. Griffiths is also hoping to reopen Sana'a airport, securing a prisoner swap and negotiating for a wider truce. Now Yemenis hope talk of a transitional government can avert the impending famine and cholera epidemic. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.